This is Georgia's post-Soviet legacy. This was a nuclear research reactor. It's since been decommissioned, the last of the spent fuel sent to Scotland in the late 90s. But Georgia is still working hard to secure its nuclear material, its other radiation sources, and keep it from getting into the wrong hands. To see how, we've now arrived at a secret storage facility with Zal Lomtadze, the man in charge of keeping Georgia's radioactive and nuclear materials safe. What is that you have in your hand? Well, this is the uh, measurement device, which tells us what's the background level of radiation here. What is the level right now? Right now it's uh, 800, which is normal. So far, so safe. But follow us inside. You can already see the levels going up. Yes, the levels are going up. This is natural because we got a lot of radioactive waste here. But the levels aren't dangerous yet. It's elevated already. It's about 10 times higher here than outside. Right. Okay. And so what is here now? So here we have most of this radioactive waste is uh, cesium and uh, cobalt. And they come from the military installations, former military installations. On the shelves, a seemingly random but potentially dangerous assortment of radioactive material and devices, either seized or found by accident by Georgians. Dangerous chemicals like cesium-137, long sought by terrorists to create a dirty bomb. How important is it that this stuff doesn't get into the wrong hands? Oh, utmost, utmost importance. In Georgia, they are finding these dangerous materials with less frequency, now just a handful a year. But it's the country's potential as both a source and a transit point for illicit materials that keeps officials here on their toes. Last year, two men were convicted in Georgia of trying to smuggle highly enriched uranium across the country by train. Uranium is used to build nuclear bombs. And still today, officials say they are battling their past billing as a soft touch on traffickers. We spoke with one of the country's top investigators on the condition he not be identified. The rumors that someone was arrested spread immediately. But still, they continue their attempts. The final destination point for all the smugglers is not uh, Georgia. This is just a transit road. Maybe the final destination point uh, just would be either European countries or even states. And in this job, we are not all alone. We have good relations with other partners. Is that what's going on now? What are they doing? Well, this is the procedure to know, to, to be sure that you have not, you are not taking with you some powder or whatever or uh, dust, which it, is... Anything that could be dangerous outside yeah. the facility. We are safe, as you see. Okay, I'm clear, safe. Staying safe hasn't always been easy in Georgia. Its nuclear, chemical and radioactive sources were in a state of limbo for years after the collapse of the Soviet Union. While time now stands still in many of these facilities, Georgia has moved on, finally trying to safely account for and contain dangerous materials and keeping an eye on those who still are hoping to exploit them. Paul Newton, CNN, Tbilisi, Georgia.